I'm gonna take a shot on this one. I'm gonna say beer. I'm buying everybody around on this. Oh my god. Well, welcome back everybody to the the ATR Bar Talk segment where we gauge our confidence in NHL topics based on our choice of drink, a beer, a shot, or are you buying everybody around because you're so jazzed up for it? And we're going to start with that the Rangers should sacrifice some of their youth to win sooner. Mr. Fulkowski, you got this. I am going to say a beer because it depends on what you're sacrificing and how much of it. Honestly, Jack Eichel deal makes a ton of sense because he's still young. He's 24. It makes a ton of sense for them. Now, if you're talking about sacrificing your youth to go get someone like Steven Stamkos, per se, it depends on what you're giving up because he's 30, 31 now. I would say he's 30, yeah, probably 31 now. He's on the wrong side of 30 and a decline is going to happen sooner than later. But this team has a mandate to win sooner than later. And you want to win in Artemi Panarin's still prime years. You've got to start winning because these guys are going to come off ELC contracts and they're going to start demanding deals of their own. So when do you pay Alexi Lafreniere? When do you pay Capo Caco? I mean, the, the, the ones that you're going to have to worry about, the you know, sooner than later, or the ones that are coming closer, I should say, are Adam Fox. And if you're the Rangers, you got to worry about Adam Fox and paying him and Igor Shesterkin. So when do they get paid? But yeah, you, you got to start making moves to win sooner than later because this this can't the rebuild can't keep going on forever. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say beer here. I'm gonna say beer too. Uh, the reason why is because sooner or later they're going to be dealing with some of these prospects they're loaded on defense and there's only six jobs that you could have up here um you're probably going to have one or two veterans on the team um i i i fear they might lose a jones they might lose i i don't want to part with Lundquist. we've been on this a lot um matthew robinson looks like he's going to be very good and Tom Rionen, and I liked what I saw from him in the two, three games that he played with the Rangers this year. It's just that it's so, um, it's just eventually you're going to have to swap out assets. Joey Keane knows all about this. And um, I, you know, I, 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 again, I got to go, I got to go beer, but it's, um, they're, they're going to have to move something. I don't know if that sacrifices their future, though. So that's, that's why it's only just the beer. Anthony. Um, I'm, I'm actually going to go I'm actually going to go shot and probably it's cuz I have PTSD but um back <laughs> uh, back before um back before 2001 2002 when the Islanders made the playoffs for the first time uh Charles Wan came aboard she was trying to get a new building and there was there was instruction to finally get them in the playoffs for the first time in 7 years he traded for Yashin he traded for Pekka and what the Islanders do in those trades they sacrifice youth in order to win sooner and yeah it got him in the the playoffs four out of those five years obviously there was the lockout year in between but so technically still four out of five um but they didn't they went out in the first round all those times so granted the rangers are in a much better place than the islanders who are heading into 2001 2002 but it's still you can still point as an example yeah you can make moves to to get your team into the playoffs but Sometimes if you trade the wrong young player, it could come back to bite you for years to come. So the Rangers have a lot of good pieces, you know, Lafreniere, Kako, Fox. They have Panarin, even though he's not as young as those guys. He's still in the prime of his career as a Benajad. They're just starting in goal. So they got a lot of good pieces. I think with just some tinkering and free agency and maybe even some minor trades, um, the Rangers could get can get there just with the team they have now. So maybe, like I said, it's a little bit of PTSD, but... Um, and learning from uh, the Islanders' mistake back then. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go shot there. Well, let me uh, um, refresh your memory and make you feel a little bit better and then give John PTSD. Uh, the uh, players that the Islanders traded for Yashin were Billy McCault, uh, uh, Zidane Chara, who and Jason Spezza. Who blossomed, and the pick that became Jason Spezza. Yeah. I know from from information of guys that knew Jason Spezza. Jason Spezza said, "I'd rather go back in the draft than be a New York Islander." So um, I don't. I mean, he, his attitude might have changed, 
but that's one reason why I, as a Long Islander I liked John Tavares because John Tavares said I want to be an Islander he wasn't willing to shun the entire uh, island the other part of that is uh, the Buffalo trade gave up Taylor Pyatt and Tim Connolly in a first round pick and I don't even know who that was so it is um, that's that's the positive to say about that the, the talk about the guy is Spezza and, uh, and Char yeah. and Char truly blossomed when he got to Boston anyway um, and he was already pretty good and uh, Sean there's so many prospects and also uh, I got this one this this is actually going to lead us into the next topic how about Pierre-Luc Dubois we talked about this but John has said they're not getting rid of Pierre He's probably not available. They just exactly. trade for line A. They can't just go ahead and trade Dubois now. No, I, yeah, I, I did suggest that at one point. Why not go after him? But by the way, just really quick, Phil, Hugh Jessamine. Yeah! <laughs> Moving on to the next comment. <laughs> um, Brett Howden resigning is just expansion fodder. Uh, I'm going to start this one. Yes, he's he's being exposed. Hopefully Seattle takes him. It's exciting. I'm buying everybody around. Buying everybody around. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's that's what this is. It's an expansion protection move. They can uh, they can now protect Colin Blackwell with this move, uh, or Julian Gauthier. Uh, I mean personally, I would protect Julian Gauthier. The kid has a future. Uh, I don't believe that Colin Blackwell really has a future with this team. Um, even if he has another season like this. Are you going to re-sign him to another deal and give him possibly three, four million after that? Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't roll the dice on that. I would rather roll the dice on the kid that's 23 years old. You know, was a guy who scored 24 goals and I think in like 40 something games in the AHL in 2019, 2020. But it, it, I, I'm not going to take a chance on uh, Colin Blackwell as opposed to him. So. Brett Howden is really just for an expansion uh, protection purposes. So he he's he's going to be exposed. Uh, yeah, and um, Goche is like that Spanish kid in the Mighty Ducks that's super fast and can't stop. Oh, oh, he's super big. Doesn't really stop that often. Which, by the way, uh, the Mighty Ducks too. One of the worst downgrades in all of, sp- of all sporting movies, where you had the team playing for their national championship. And then they put on Mighty Duck jerseys. Playing for your nation. Be proud of playing for your nation. Um, I was waiting for Anthony to come back, but we'll just scream it out as, with him in his stead. Goldberg is back on. And oops, actually. I, Goldberg, there we go. Uh, yeah. Why would Seattle take him, though? He's awful. Well, he's got incredible leadership skills. Or as someone said, I don't know, sometime. I have no idea. Uh, oh, please. I don't think in Seattle it's going to take him. I think it's just an exposure slot. That's really what it is. So they can protect somebody else as opposed to him because you have to, you have to have, um, you have to have a certain amount of players left exposed. So, but um, I mean, if Seattle wants to take him, it's maybe because they think that he's a fourth liner and that they can go and get a fourth line talent that's young, that's under cost control. I mean. I, I, I would rather take Julian Gauthier if he's left available than Brett Howden. That's just me. And I think that's a lot of fans. But you don't know what who's going to be available, who's going to be left unprotected. And honestly, we don't know what Rob Francis thinks of players. I mean, he could end up taking P.K. Subban because he can think that, you know, even though P.K. Subban's got one year left on his deal at $9 million, P.K. Subban is a household name in hockey he's a talented player and experienced and could possibly put some you know asses in the seats so i mean you never know just finishing again on the mighty ducks too because i got a couple comments and uh we got a good question from uh john coke fair uh that uh i'm gonna put on while we're waiting for anthony to come back and that's um Again, the end of the movie in the shootout, they all stop and take slap shots. That's not the way shootouts work. I mean, it does in Blades of Steel, but that's a different story. Uh, yeah, Blades of Steel. Blades of Steel. But um, the other the other thing to mention in that is, so they, they take the shot and they're all like suspenseful 
after they change goalies in the shootout, which you can't do, and they're like, where's the puck? Where's the puck? It doesn't matter. It's not in the net. It's all that matters. So uh, the other one is the kids that got in roping. I like Sean's comment right here. Disney just knew that the name Iceland was ice. How about this? They played yeah. Trinidad and Tobago, not Trinidad and Tobago. And why would a Caribbean island have an ice hockey team anyway? So, uh, but yeah, John, getting to your question. Uh, and again, I think John and I kind of agree with this. I think you might see Braden Schneider next year. It's possible. I don't know if they're going to rush him or not. I mean, but then again, uh, there were a lot of people, myself included, that did not expect Keandre Miller. <laughs> Mike Milbury. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, but... Um, I, there were a lot of people that didn't expect Keandre Miller to make this team. I thought when they signed Jack Johnson, I was like, oh, God, here we go. Keandre Miller's not going to make the team. They're going to have Jack Johnson playing, and Keandre Miller's going to either play taxi squad or they're, they're not going to, you know. Uh, okay, cool runnings. Yeah, I get it, Dave. Cool runnings. Yeah, Jermaine, we are Jamaican Bob's on our team. My name is Sanka. Yeah, yeah. I, I, all right. Cool runnings, who, by the way, featured our boy Al Trotwig. And Al Trotwig, yes. Yes. The 88 Olympics. So, um, but yeah, Jake and Jamaica had a bobsled team. <laughs> yeah, Jamaica had a bobsled team. They did the Calgary Olympics in 80, 88. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know if you see Braden Schneider next season. I, I, I would definitely think the season after the 2022 2023 season would be a distinct possibility for Braden Schneider. I think he'll be ready then. Um, I just wonder if he's still with the team or not, because like I said, there, there's going to be deals made. There, there has to be deals made, whether it's for Eichel or for, it's for something else. Some, something's going to happen because there's a there's an excess of players. There's a log jam here. There's a surplus. Someone's going to get moved eventually. So I don't know if it's Schneider. I don't know if it's Nils Lundqvist. I don't know if it's Zach Jones or, or Matthew Robertson. Uh, no, Sean, there's no way that John Candy would have been a better fit <laughs> than Emilio Estevez. And if you've watched the new series, you'll understand exactly what I'm saying because Emilio Ooh. Estevez is gold. Yeah, that was good. He's hilarious. See, you know what? That's what we need to do. We, we need to click a link over here where uh, you can go to the new series and get some of that Disney Plus money. Um, <laughs> uh, Anthony, uh, Brett Howden, expansion fodder. So I got a phone call from the good old wife. Um, it is perfectly fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anything you can interrupt yeah. for, it is definitely that. Round. Um, you know, you, you need you need to have certain guys that meet certain requirements to be exposed. Um, so that's definitely one of the reasons. And, um, yeah, I mean, the only thing now is, you know, who would Seattle take? Would they take Brett Howden over a guy like Gauthier or, or even Blackwell? That I'm not sure about, but. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely expansion fodder round. Which, by the way, uh, Zega, the um, uh, the NHL what if happens? It was a what if uh, uh, what if Bombay didn't blow up point oh eight? So um, that was always. <laughs> did you like the video? Of course you did. So why not check out some more of our content? You can check the playlist right here or right here. Ooh, your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.